And hello, boys and girls. This is your old pal, Uncle Al, aka Die Bullfrog 79. Hit the like button and the subscribe button. And my channel is Die Bullfrog 79. And people don't understand the 79. You'll get it one of these days. We're having fun. This is a short blog. Uh, people like complaining, I don't have money, Uncle Al. I'm not that smart. Uh, I'm busy, so don't bug Uncle Alan. I'm broke as heck. I have family to take care of me, and I don't have any money. So, but Uncle Alan has high IQ, about 200 plus or near that. Also, I'm an incompetent idiot. So tonight, we're going to have some fun. And this I picked up at the closing of Orchard Supply. I should have showed it last time, but I all forgot about it. And also, I goofed up on the rope. It wasn't 50 feet. That's 25 feet, but still just good. I'll, I'll, I'll look around for another piece of rope about 25 feet. But anyway, I'm tired of those little pl yellow plastic shovels. I live in an area with heavy mineralized soil, hard pan clay, and rocks. You ever try to dig a fire pit or a cat hole? Not that kind of cat hole, but, you know, a dirt hole or any kind of hole in this dirt out here where I live. You need something this strong, and it's really nicely made, so I picked one up. I have to do this fast. I'll pick five people from my list who need money. Or I think they could do money. And I'll go it step by step. Really easy, really fast. West Wind Survival. Uh, Walker Outdoors. Uh, Chris McBee. Jordan Jakenberg. Uh, Walker Outdoors. Uh, Chris McBee. I forget. All right. You know, Uncle Alan has stroke problems, so I don't feel. Remember too much. Sean does a strange. Not a few more people. But anyway. Uh, Inspired John. Uh, uh, Panhandle Prepper. Prep, prep, preparedness. Sorry. Sorry, can't, can't add. Uh, Trent. Uh, this is what happens when you have brain lesion, stroke problems, and, and you can't think right sometimes. Okay. So you ought to use like, what's Uncle Alan's crazy idea? Well, Uncle Alan's crazy. Now, we all have, let me put this away, uh, grab this, empty five gallon buckets. Okay, it's empty, all right? It's five gallon, five gallon. But a lot of people are like, oh, it's good for only dry food. Read the label closely. Other than not drowning little kids in there, mostly these used are for liquid. Okay? And a lot of people are like, well, I'm gone. We can use it for something else. Dude. Everybody else does dry goods. I'm gone. I already figured out a way. That's real easy and make a lot of money. Now, you got to know what to do with drop shipment. Go check Alux. Yeah, their channel is the How to Become a Millionaire. It explains you how to do drop shipments. And you ever wonder how come that little Kardashian girl made a billion dollars? She does drop shipments. Okay, second thing you need. Everybody got the buckets. You need a waterproof bag with a spout. They use these for years and why? Wine, uh, Starbucks use them for coffee, military use them for soups or coffee, uh, NASA use them for uh, sealing clothes or bags or anything. These are waterproof, they're BPH free, and they have a foil lining, which is pretty good. And they have a spout. Now, here's my money making idea that a lot of people miss. And I thought Uncle Alan was crazy back in the 80s and 90s. It also makes a wonderful water bag. Duh! Somebody overheard me last, I think it was preparedness convention. They asked me, 
oh, we could do it like wine bags. And I told him, no, don't do the wine boxes because uh, cardboard does not have the integrity to last a long time. It's good for tempering, you can make a toilet out of it later, but it doesn't last long. This cardboard works. This. And they listen a little bit, they nod their head, smile, laugh. Ah, you crazy uncle out and left. Two years later, they put out the product. Two years later, they went bankrupt because they didn't think Uncle Alan and they didn't correct the mistake. They thought, oh, we'll wax the sides. No, it didn't work like that. Well, we'll use plastic instead of wax. Okay. Bad thing was they catch on fire. Bad thing was, thank God they were holding water. Anything else? Ugh. Okay. They use cardboard. Stupid. You got already this at home. You put this bag, see this bag with the spout, inside the bucket. I'm making this easiest pot in the bucket. Now, half of you don't listen to Uncle Al and kind of nod your head and look kind of stupid. It's easier than digging for gold. Not this kind of gold, okay, or this kind of gold, but using your brains. If you use dropship making, these are really cheap to make in China, Korea, or Japan. And add a spout to it, okay? For $5, you get a bunch, a bunch about 10 and you sell them for $20. Not a piece, but in groups of 10, because it only costs you $5 to make, ship, and ready to go. In a little plastic bag marked water bag. <coughs> One second. This is why Uncle Al tried to make these videos short. Because Uncle Al does it raw, and Uncle Al hurts like hell. But if you do it right, do a drop shipment program. They'll take care of the packaging, everything else. You get the orders, you sell the products, you sell it all, all of it. Then you put patent pending on the item and you put your patent right away. Uncle Alan needs 10 more years to qualify for a fast patent. Anybody 64 or older, you could do a fast patent about 90 countries in the world and to get it passed through. Now you have to leave a note saying thank you one Allen and you only use this for temporary use not long-term storage. Understand this if you want to make a million dollars. Temporary use not for long-term storage. Okay that's it folks. I'll catch you later. Uh, I think I mentioned five people I hope West Wind Survival was one of them. I think it was Mike Walker. I think it was Walker Outdoors, Panhandle Preparedness, uh, Chris McBee, Jordan Jakensberg, uh, Inspired John, and West Wind Survival, and Shonda Strange. So if you're smart and do it right away, if you take notes and see this video, do it right now. Do it fast. Take care of the problem. And if you go on Shark Tank, you got to say, thank you, Uncle Alan. Or within two years, you're totally bankrupt and living in a trailer down by the river. Okay, night, boys and girls. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button. Don't be going digging for go like this or like this. Use what God gives you up here. Now, I have a whole bunch of ideas, but nobody ever listens to Uncle Al. They think Uncle Al is crazy. Do I look crazy? Well, don't answer that. I know John's is typing away crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, or Hubble's cat, crazy, crazy, crazy. But he's Canadian. And that's an easy idea, Hubble's. Are you tired of working at the nursing hospital? Do that. Drop shipment, 10 bags, cost you $5 to produce. 10 bags, sell for $20. Canadian, $25. With a new year, you make a million dollars. You roughly you need, um, having a brain fart, sorry. 
Uh, 10 minutes past. Uh, roughly 200,000 sales and you make a million dollars, more or less. Uncle Alan's bad with numbers. So I'll catch you later, boys and girls.